Hi guys and welcome back in this new video. As always I did some work behind the camera because I was rushing trying to finish some things but let me show you what I did so far. So we are here on the back of the van. I just removed the mattress because I need to install the fake leather on this side and that side but before I need to finish with the Armaflex on the exposed metal. So this is something I'm going to do today. Behind, as you can see, I finished the new battery box. There is no battery yet inside, but I will explain this in a moment. So here I used four millimeters plywood to close the shower drawer. So no dust or dirt can get inside but so the original plan was to leave it open because um, when you use it you want some kind of ventilation inside so it can dry out but then I decided to close it because it, it was too much open but I'm going to make some holes and install those these little vents here I'm gonna make like a row of holes and if it's not enough, I'm gonna make another one. Let's see. Then moving on this side, I finally installed a 220 outlet here, connected to one of the breakers. It's separate, so I can turn it on and off independently. I didn't know exactly where I'm, I was going to install this one, but it was planned from the beginning. That's why I left one breaker just for that so now that it's finished it's a nice place and because there was enough space inside here let me show you so yeah i cut the hole the, the outlet it's there the cable goes inside the channel here into the box then i finished not really finished but it's almost done the electrical system here for the water tank. I have a secondary fuse box coming straight from the bus bar with a fuse there and another battery protect on this line so the BMS can turn off also this section of the electrical system. So far there is nothing connected beside the water pump that was already there. I'm gonna add just a switch for the water pump but basically here, what is missing? It's connecting the heating element here for the winter. I have the probe, the temperature probe connected to the thermostatic board over there. But instead of powering straight from the board to the heating element, I thought it's gonna be the best to have a fuse here and going through one relay. So the electronic board it's gonna control the relay that and the relay it's the one giving power from the fuse box to the eating element that way it's completely separate you know the power consumption it's coming on this side all from this fuse box there will be another two things here which are the drain valves one for the fresh tank which is this one and another one for the gray tank that is going to be underneath the van not installed yet but i will leave the connection for that as well and also it will have its own temperature probe and not sure if i'm going to use another heating element or it's going to be just a warning so if the temperature in the gray tank is going to lower in a, an unsafe area like below five degrees for example or something like that i will receive a warning so i can quickly find a dump station and drain it out and leave the valve open then i have a connection box here which is the one holding the cable from the water level probe there is a space for another one which which is gonna be for the gray water not there yet of course but it's gonna be in this one as well and I'm looking here on the cables 
of the van to find a 12 volt that is going under the key so the ignition key to use it to power the magnets that are holding in place the drawer when I'm driving but I don't know apparently because I didn't have the plug installed by factory there's no power here um, I tried to look into the fuse box the fuse is there all the relays are there not sure what it's missing probably there is some uh, connection lost between this loom and, and the other one in the, the front of the track still need to figure out that part but it's not a big deal you know just find a 12 volt wire even just one because I can ground on the on here on the frame and have one wire that came from somewhere that has uh, 12 volts under the ignition key if you didn't saw the video basically every time I switch the key on to turn the engine on and drive I will have power on this wire that is gonna power the electromagnet behind here so the drawer has, are gonna stick in place and I will never have to worry about locking before driving because it's gonna be automatic so the chance of forgetting them it's uh, basically gone not sure if I told you about this uh, modification here I just add a ball valve because here I left the T because I at the beginning I plan to connect back here the drain the wastewater from the osmosis system back into the tank but I, then I changed the idea so uh, I'm using right now this one as an um, extra vent when I'm filling the tank because I noticed that when I'm I have a big flow of water coming into the van into the tank the ventilation port that is this one it's too small to keep up you know so I'm not able to really push in so much water so adding this one I can I will connect a hose inside probably here and hub with a, just a filter so I can open this and uh, have more hair escaping the tank when I'm filling so I can fill the tank much faster that's the plan I have here this uh, flexigas panel I have another one smaller and the plan is to use this as a protection for the electrical uh, stuff so it's gonna be like this and another one over there I just remove the inverter to work on the battery but with those all the electrical components are protected so I can carry stuff on front of it without worrying to make a short or to ruin something how I'm gonna attach this well um, I got those spacers 10 centimeters long a spacer with uh, those aluminium screws it's just a washer and uh, this threaded insert this is M6 I'm gonna oops I'm gonna make a hole in the wood insert this one and then I have a place to screw this in that is gonna be you know on the panel and this screw is gonna hold the, the plexiglass panel I have like uh, six here and four over there so this is another job that I'm going to do today hopefully yeah about the battery as I told you in another video the battery is gonna be double capacity I basically uh, bought eight more cells that are going to be parallel to the old ones I build the cabinet so the battery is gonna be protected this one is just on with magnets and it's just a protection for the wires here and there are more wires coming up you know for the BMS and everything else this slot is for the cables for the inverter that is gonna be here and here I can slide this out and have access to the battery everything is painted instead of building a box and then put the box in I just make this wall screw it in with a lot of screws because uh, this is gonna be holding the weight of the battery this way and some sides to hold the cover and underneath this is 10 millimeters underneath it's 10 millimeters uh, insulation 
on each side. I didn't put insulation on this one and on the back because I wanted to keep, you know, this as short as possible. So I could make like this. Otherwise, I I should have, you know, this one more further. I didn't want that, but like this, it's perfect. So I have a little bit of insulation on the side. I have a little bit of insulation on the floor, which is just, um, let's see if I can lift it up, just two millimeters cork. And I, I glue aluminum foil on top of it. The aluminum foil, it's there just to reflecting the heat produced by this infrared film. It's the same as the one I used um, under the floor. This is gonna be like this, underneath the batteries, I have a probe, temperature probe here. This one that is going to sense the temperature and based on that, it's gonna turn on and off. The heating foil here, everything on this board as well. And, um, and yeah, basically that's it. Basically I'm ready to, to bring the cells inside and make all the connections and waiting because the cells are still in the shop um, charging they need to be all fully charged before connecting them in parallel and series but i'm gonna explain you later yeah and then i can move on connect everything and and this will be finished as well so with all of this the garage area is gonna be finished 100 percent finish beside the covering of the pillar here and the pillar here let's say this covering will be you know like the last thing to do here and here you know and also the upper portion so let me start uh, working a little bit and i'll catch up with you later first few spacers are done I place it in a not particular you know scheme just where I had space but then as you can see when I place the panel it's gonna stay pretty well so now I'm gonna mark where to make the holes on the panel and then this one it's done next oops and then the other one in the same way. Okay, I mean, looks good. It's gonna be dirty soon <laughs> because it's very clear, but I like it. A few moments later. Okay, this one it's done as well. Everything it's finished so far. I really like the result it's gonna be scratched soon <laughs> but uh, at least it's gonna protect the electronics you know so right now the next step before I can start to 
put together the battery because I'm waiting for the cells to be charged. And yeah, so I can start finishing with the Armaflex on the metal frame of the van. Just got into the mail this drill bit. It's uh, 28 millimeters, which is the exact measure for those uh, vents. So I'm gonna do this right now here on the back of the shower pan. Okay, now I think I need to clean a little bit. Et voilà. Looks good. One side, it's done, now the other one. One eternity later. Okay, this side, it's done as well. I cannot finish because this is how, how much it's left. I need to order a little bit more for this part right here and over there. And then I'm done with the Armaflex. And now I'm gonna go ahead and uh, cut and try to glue on the fake leather. I don't know how it's called properly, this one. But let me know in the comment if this has a specific name. It's not real leather, but it looks like this, you know. In Italy we call it eco leather, but I don't know. Yeah, let me try to do this. <laughs> done what do you think looks like it's really really dark right now because everything is black but it's gonna change of course because the only black thing that will be left at the end it's just you know the leather here and the walls are gonna be white or something the ceiling probably will be slatted with uh, strips of wood so light colors you know i hope the glue hold i use the spray glue the heavy one the strongest that i could find i sprayed first on the wall and then on the back of the leather i waited like a minute and then i put it on like this it should be really really strong okay now i think i can bring in the mattress again and for this video should be enough <laughs> Voila, it's very, very tight, but that's perfect. I don't need it to, you know, to make it shorter. I think it's good like this. If I want to have a little bit more space and be able to work around of the mattress a little bit more, I can always 
cut like an inch out of it because it's foam but I think it's for now it's working well it's kind of I don't know if it gives to the van a luxury look or a more a sport look what do you think imagine a frame all around with the same wood as this one and of course covered right here and a cabinet over there until there hmm well we'll see as always thank you for watching if you like the video please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you are not and see you in the next one bye, bye.